There are tons of marketing strategies that involve YouTube, but one of the biggest problems for most marketers is the actual video recording and publishing process. Um, so what I would like to do uh, in this tutorial is to take just a couple of minutes and actually show you the process that I use and go through uh, on a Windows computer at least to to record and publish a video and it doesn't cost a single penny. Um, what I actually like to use is a, a program called Hypercam. If you go to hypercam.com uh, scroll down to the bottom of the page here. Uh, they have the Hypercam uh, version 2 software. It's completely free to download. Just download this software, install it on your computer. Once you get the software set up and running, uh, you can see here this is the uh, program that is uh, running, it's actually running as I'm recording this video. Um, up here at the top, you set the uh, the region that you would like to record on your screen. Um, I'm using a large screen that's uh, uh, 1080p uh, high def. Um, so I'm actually recording just a smaller portion of the screen. You can see that I can actually drag this off of my recording area here because I have more screen both to the right and down below uh, the recording area that you can see here. Um, so I've set this to be a little bit smaller. This is still uh, considered a high definition resolution, this 1280 by 720, but this actually allows the uh, file size to be smaller that you're recording. This still produces a good video uh, for the uh, end user that ends up watching it, but then it also helps to keep your file sizes smaller for you as well. Click on this checkbox right here to show the rectangle around the recorded area. You can do this just in the beginning uh, to get an idea of exactly where the video will be recording for you. Um, when it actually comes time to record a video, make sure you have this checkbox right here selected. Make this rectangle blink. You won't actually see the blinking rectangle as long as this box is not checked. But this is uh, very important because without this checked here, if you start flipping from one window to the next, it's actually going to um, cause your video to lose sync with uh, your audio if you are recording both of those at the same time. One of the other uh, important things that I want to show you under the AVI file uh, setting here, you can change the uh, different quality uh, and frame settings that are set up for the video that you're going to be recording. I highly recommend to set the frame compression quality to 100%. Um, if, you're, if you're setting uh, this number to a lower percentage or even using the default number, your videos could end up um, having a grainy look to them depending on what you're recording. So, you, you know, you may want to do a couple of test runs, try some lower numbers and see what your videos are looking like. And, and you know, if you have a uh, quality uh, resolution problem showing up in your videos, just set this to 100% and it'll record a uh, clear video for you. You can also reduce the number of frames per second that it's recording. If you're uh, just recording a simple tutorial video uh, on a website or something like that, like I'm doing here, you really don't need to have a lot of frames per second. And all that is going to do is to simply uh, give you a large file size uh, for no reason. Over on the sound, you can record your sound um, directly from a microphone or even from your uh, computer's uh, webcam microphone, for example. This allows you to shoot your video and also talk at the same time while you're recording it. This is uh, really easy to do. It might take a little bit of practice, but truly anybody uh, can learn how to do this. Uh, don't worry about whether you think your voice sounds good or not on uh, video. That's really not the point here. It just matters about what you're talking about and the information that you are providing people. Um, everybody has their own unique voice 
and people people truly understand that and and they are a lot more accepting than you are probably uh, accepting of your own voice so now that you can see how the uh, hypercam software works to actually uh, record your video when you have finished your video it is going to drop it in uh, the documents library by default you can see here that there are uh, different clips that are available um, what you will want to do is actually open one of these clips uh, in a, another free program that's included with uh, Windows it's called um, Windows Movie Maker and Windows Movie Maker is is a easy to use editing program um, if if you made some mistakes in your video or if you need to chop off the beginning of it or the end of it this is a really easy way to clip it you can go through and um, choose a uh, I'll load up a video here so I can show you you can choose uh, different different sizes and formats uh, that you want to save your video in try out some different ones you can also create your own using different resolutions and stuff like that uh, depending on what your intended uses and what kind of quality you need out of your video you can change the different settings here uh, to save your final movie file and that's usually done in a uh, Windows Media um, video file a WMV which is then compatible to be uh, uploaded on YouTube you can even set up the uh, movie maker here to actually directly publish your videos uh, to YouTube uh, Facebook and uh, even more services um, I actually go through and, and I'll just publish my video here first and then I'll go back into YouTube and upload my videos individually so I can actually write a uh, customized description um, title and uh, keyword tags and and you know the whole nine yards for it and then often I will take the uh, the videos and then go embed them on another website you can you can add a link in the description on your YouTube video just write like one sentence no more than two lines worth of text and then have your uh, your link that you're looking on people to click on and that will automatically show up below your video um, any more than two lines of text added to a link and and you're going to end up having the link showing up off the uh, default uh, description excerpt that's actually shown below the video so people would have to click on the show more button to actually be able to see your link so I recommend trying to put that in the uh, top portion of it so it's a lot easier to get to there are also some other ways that you can go about um, you can go into YouTube and actually uh, set you know captions on your videos to provide people with links once you have your your videos published if you if you publish a bunch of different videos and try to target different keyword phrases or different tutorial subjects that people might be searching for on YouTube you can actually funnel in a lot of targeted traffic from a, a lot of different um, subject matters really um, and, and this can be used for um, affiliate promotions like with Amazon or even with uh, affiliate promotions for um, marketing products I actually use this own technique with um, my own uh, promotions that I'm doing on other people's uh, product launches I do this to earn a commission and and uh, it actually uh, pays very very well um, so it's worth the time to learn how to do this um, so you can take advantage of all of the the YouTube marketing strategies that are out there because there are a lot of them and there's a lot of really uh, great ones one of them in particular that I highly recommend is uh, Gaz Cooper's Amazon Treasure Hunter. Um, you take a look at the link below my video. You can actually uh, go to a page where um, you can pick up a copy of Gaz's Amazon Treasure Hunter 
along with some special uh, exclusive Amazon bonuses uh, directly for me, which will include a uh, Amazon coaching session if you can get on on this uh, before the uh, time has expired. So, hope you guys have learned how to um, publish your own your own videos and and to take advantage of some of these more new age marketing strategies that are that are really making a big difference for for a lot of marketers out there and I'm confident that it can for you too really no matter what kind of uh, websites or promotions uh, you run and what, what and no matter what type of traffic you are looking to receive good luck to all you guys and uh, talk to you later